In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate BMI, a person's body mass index. The formula that we're going to use is this one. BMI is equal to a person's body weight divided by the square of the person's height. Now you have to pay attention to the units in order to do this problem correctly. The body weight has to be in kilograms. The height has to be in meters. Now there are some conversion factors that we're going to use in order to get this problem right. So let's take down some notes. The first thing you need to know is that one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. Next there's 12 inches in the foot and one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters and one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So the first thing we're going to do in this problem is we're going to convert John's weight from pounds to kilograms. So he weighs 170 pounds. Now we're going to use our first conversion factor to convert from pounds to kilograms. Notice that we have the unit pounds on top of the first fraction. We need to put the unit pounds on the bottom of the second fraction to make this work. So this side of the conversion factor, we're going to put that on the bottom. The other side, we're going to put that on top. So the unit kilo, I mean, the unit pounds will cancel. And we're going to take the number on top and divide it by the number on the bottom. So it's 170 divided by 2.2. And this is going to be approximately 77.273 kilograms. So that's his body weight in kilograms. Now let's focus on John's height. He's 5'7", which means that he's 5 feet and 7 inches tall. Let's convert this part to inches first. So we're going to use our second conversion factor. So since we have feet on top, we're going to put this part on the bottom. And then the other part is going to go on top of the second fraction. So we can cancel the unit feet. Now these two numbers are in the numerators of the fraction, so we're going to multiply them. 5 times 12 is 60. So 5 feet is equivalent to 60 inches. Now to get his total height, we're going to add 5 feet plus 7 inches, or 60 inches plus 7 inches. So John is 67 inches tall. But now, we need to get his height in meters in order for this to work. In order to convert inches to meters, we need two conversion factors. So we're going to use the last two. First, we're going to convert inches to centimeters. So because we have inches on top, we're going to put this part on the bottom. The other part is going to go on top of the second fraction. And so now the unit inches will cancel. And using our last conversion factor, we're going to convert centimeters to meters. So let's put this part on the bottom of the third fraction. And this is going to go on top of it. So now the unit centimeters will cancel. So we're going to multiply by the numbers that are on top of the fractions and divide by the numbers on the bottom. So it's going to be 67 times 2.54 divided by 100. And you're going to get 1.7018 meters. So that's John's height in meters.
Now, let's calculate John's BMI, his body mass index. So it's going to be his body weight divided by the square of his height. So now we have the right units. So we have the body weight in kilograms. That's 77.273. And we have his height in meters. So all we got to do at this point is just plug it into the formula. Don't forget to square the number on the bottom. So you should get 26.68. So that's John's BMI. Now let's work on a similar problem so you can get familiar with the process. So here we have Felix. He's 6'1 and he weighs 185 pounds. What is his BMI value? What is Felix's body mass index? So let's start with his weight. Let's convert that to kilograms. He's 185 pounds. And we know that there's 2.2 pounds per every kilogram. So that's the first thing. Divide his weight in pounds by 2.2. And you'll get his body weight in kilograms. And so that's going to be 84.091 kilograms. Now let's convert his height to meters. So he's six feet and one inch tall. Let's convert this part to inches first. There's 12 inches in the foot. So 6 times 12, that's going to give us 72 inches. So his total height is 72 inches plus 1. So he's 73 inches tall. Now let's convert that to meters. First, let's convert inches to centimeters. We know that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And now let's convert centimeters to meters. There's 100 centimeters in every meter. So this is going to be 73 times 2.54 divided by 100. So his height is 1.8542 meters. So now that we have both Felix's body weight in kilograms and his height in meters, we can now calculate his BMI. So it's going to be 84.091 kilograms. And then we're going to divide that by the height, which is 1.854 two meters and don't forget to square it. and so this is going to be approximately 24.46 so that's his BMI if it's under 25 or rather between 18.5 and 25. That means that his body weight is normal. I mean, you could look up the chart to see what the classifications are. But if it's between 25 and 30, he's overweight. If it's over than 30, that means he's obese. And if it's under 18.5, that means he's thin or underweight. But you could look that up online or in Google Images. But now you know how to calculate someone's BMI, a person's body mass index. So remember, the body weight has to be in kilograms, 
and the height has to be in meters. So just keep that in mind.